All right, guys, so we got to talk about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez because she has been going on a liberal rant talking about how she and the rest of the left want to abolish and eliminate the Electoral College in favor of a popular vote system. Now, see, the thing with a lot of Democrats and liberals and progressives and, of course, socialists like AOC, what they do not understand is that America is not a democracy. America has never been a democracy. We are a constitutional republic, not a democracy, because pure democracy is essentially mob rule. The majority oppresses the minority. And what's funny is that the, 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 the Democrats are the ones who claim to be for the minority and the small and everyday people. But the Democrats say that the Republicans are the party for the rich and the fat cats and the corporations, yet the Democrats take, you know, tens and tens of millions of dollars from the same corporations and Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, Facebook, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, a lot of this anti-electoral college uh, rhetoric is coming from the ghost of holidays past of 2016, where Hillary Clinton lost to President Trump. And he lost to her to the popular vote, but he won on the electoral college. And the Democrats since then had been complaining nonstop, whining and bitching how we need to abolish the electoral college because in, in the most recent presidential election it didn't turn out the, the the way they wanted to but yet I didn't hear them complain under the Obama administration when that same electoral college that gave them Trump also gave them Obama but let's go ahead and read a little bit into this article here and actually read Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's tweets on the issue if I can find them. Well, here's one right here. Uh, the left has a new cause, getting rid of the Electoral College. And if the left succeeds in doing away with the venerable institution, its next target is the U.S. Senate will fall like a dried apple. AOC was tweeting, and I quote, It is well past time we eliminate the Electoral College, a shadow of slavery's power on America today and undermines our nation as a democratic republic. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This is why I question your intelligence. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, America is not a democratic country. We are, we, we are not a democracy. We are a representative constitutional republic, not a democracy. Because again, democracy is mob rule. The majority suppresses and basically steps on the minority. Again, the Democrats claim to be for the minority, but we'll go ahead and read more into this article and, and we see just how hypocritical AOC really is. Here's another quote from her. If the GOP were the silent majority, they claim, they wouldn't be so scared of a popular vote. They know they aren't the majority. They rely on establishing minority rule for power. Again, I have to question Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's ability to understand simple things. Firstly, again, America, not a democracy, a constitutional republic. Because if the Democrats had gotten their wish and established a popular vote and basically threw out the idea of the Electoral College, they would be then suppressing and stepping on the voices of the minority, which they claim to represent. This is why they're hypocrite. This is why Democrats are just fucking stupid. And this is my favorite part here. It says, uh, two days later, Representative Dan Crenshaw of Texas also tweeted back at AOC, quote, abolishing the Electoral College means that politicians will only campaign in and listen to urban areas. That is not a representative democracy. We live in a republic, which means 51% of the population doesn't get to boss around the other 49%. Like I said, mob rule, which is democracy, our direct, pure democracy in, in its purest form. So to break it down more simply, that means like a state like Wyoming, for instance, with its three electoral college votes, and I think they get one vote per 135,000 uh, voters or people in the state, versus that with California with its 55 electoral college votes. 
and they get one vote for every 435,000 voters or people. So that means that Wyoming gets hugely more representation than California does. And that's the point. That is the purest point that the Founding Fathers had written in the Constitution and established the Electoral College in the first place because they understood this. Almost 200-something years ago, they understood this simple concept that the Democrats, especially AOC and many other Democrats who are in favor of, of abolishing the Electoral College. The Founding Fathers knew this, that direct and pure democracy is in itself is corruptible, mob rule, and just doesn't freaking work out. And if the Democrats had gotten their wish and abolished the Electoral College, what you see would happen is that politicians would only stick to urban areas and try to get those urban votes and basically say, screw you to the world countryside and the farmers and basically where all the American productivity comes from. With the Electoral College, these politicians at least are forced to pretend to care about rural America, the, the small towns, and so on and so forth. I mean, just imagine a world where America decided the next president just specifically due to the popular vote. It would be mayhem. It would be destructive to our nation because, again, politicians would only stick around urban areas and try to get the urban vote. Places like New York and Tampa, Florida, L.A., San Francisco, Las Vegas, and th these big urban areas with millions of people compacted into them while rural America gets ignored. Rural America doesn't get its benefits. It's not represented. The farmers feel left out and the farmers might go out of business. And then productivity sucks up and dries out. And then the urban areas will eventually fail because I don't think people in New York City are farming cattle and producing corn on a massive scale. That is rural America and rural farmers who, pr who, who produce the vast majority of the crap that we consume. So I have to be very blunt about this and say, you know, I'm sorry, urban New York hipster, but the American world town farmer is far more important to you and far more important to the U.S. economy as a whole versus your, you know, Starbucks latte sipping iPhone communist bullcrap. And the Electoral College is very important on the basis that America, for the most part, we're a United Nations but each an individual state is basically its own nation in itself. Each state has different laws. Each state has different customs and different county administration garbage. And each state is different, basically. So you could make the argument that each state in the United States is its own nation state, like the European Union. You have Germany, you have the UK, you have Belgium, you have Poland, and so on and so forth. All of them are wrapped up under the European Union, but they're, they're their own individual nations with their own laws and their own own customs and their own languages and so on and so forth. Now, now we don't get that far. I mean, we all just speak one language for the most part, but we, but each individual state is different. Nevada laws and regulations are different than Wyoming's laws and regulations and so on and so forth. So each an individual state has to be represented by the people within the state. And that is exactly why Wyoming has more representation than California. The founding fathers wrote this in ink to make sure that this balances out the powers that be. That each individual state contributes and has its own say, its own voice, yada yada yada. Now that is not to say that the Electoral College doesn't have its problems. It does. Like all systems, it's not perfect, but it sure as hell works better than the alternative. The alternative that the Democrats are pushing for. And the Democrats are pushing this because in urban areas, they overly, they, they overwhelmingly vote what? Democrat. This is why the Democrats want you in big cities. This is why the Democrats want you in public transit. This is why the Democrats want you to vote Democrat. They want you in big cities because overwhelmingly urban areas vote Democrat, rural areas vote Republican. 
I don't know why that is, but it just happens to be that way and it is what it is. And to the Democrats who are suggesting this, I, su I, I suggest uh, shut up, get balls to the wall, and actually make your party something to vote for instead of a lame, whiny, far-left, socialist, identity politic, bullcrap party that it is today. But either way, you guys want to check out that article, that will be in the link in the description box below. And you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this video. And that's about it for this one. Peace out, guys.